up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we're going to be installing PSP Game Bubbles with Adrenaline Bubbles Manager for the PlayStation Vita on 3.60. So what do we need? We will need a PSP game, demo or mini. If you don't have one, do not worry. We will need a PlayStation Vita on 3.60 with Hancock installed. We will also need a PSP game in ISO CSO format, Vita Shell, Vita Homebrew Browser, Adrenaline Bubbles Manager, and the ePSP Bubble Installer. When we move on to the installation, we're going to transfer the PSP ISO game and VPK to the PlayStation Vita. We're going to create a PSP game with the ePSP Bubble Installer. With the Adrenaline Bubbles Manager, we're going to modify the game. So wait for the additional tips and examples. As always, the links will be in the description. Remember to check my Twitter, guys. Enjoy, gamers. So we move on to the PC, and we go to Hack Informer to get the latest update for the adrenaline bubbles manager i'll go ahead and leave the link in the description you can go ahead and read the article as well on how to do it it's pretty cool so we download the file just give it a moment i'm just gonna get my file ready so i can go ahead and transfer everything together to my playstation vita so then again we go to Ololo.net to get the Vita Homebrew Browser, which we're really going to need it to get that ePSP Bubble Installer. So we download that other VPK, and I'm going to get it ready to get it transferred. I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description as well. So now also, make sure you have your PSP ISO or CSO games ready. So we connect our PlayStation Vita via USB with Vita Shell. So just remember to go to view and this for Windows 10, hide items or hidden items and check it. So we go to PSP EMU, we select ISO and then we're going to drop our games, our ISO or CSO games into that folder. We're going to go ahead and copy them, just give it a moment. Okay, so now we're ready. We're done with the PC basically. The last thing we need to do in here is just copy the VPKs, which is the Adrenaline Bubbles Manager. So I already have it in there. I'm just going to go ahead and override that information. As you can see, I have the Vita Homebrew Browser, so I don't really need to copy it. So just get those files and put them in there on the root of the memory stick or PlayStation Vita. So we move on to the PlayStation Vita. As you can see, I have my games in there. So now that I have my games in there, I'm going to go to install those VPKs. I already have them installed, so you just go ahead and install them directly to the PlayStation Vita. That's all we need to do with Vita Shell. You can see I have Adrenaline Bubbles Manager and Vita Homebrew Browser. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the ePSP Bubble Installer. So I will launch the Vita Homebrew Browser. Pretty cool tool. So we go to Utilities. And then we search for the ePSP Bubble Installer. There we have it from Celeste Blue. Pretty cool. I think this is a reliable tool. This is the one I use mostly. So I already have it installed and then I'm going to go ahead and launch it. So we just give it a moment. So now press X to install a PSP bubble with adren for Adrenaline or Arc. But in this case we're going to use it to launch our PSP games through those bubbles. So there we have it. It's as small in size, and just remember to install Hankaku once again because remember you rebooted your PlayStation Vita. So I wanted to install another one. 
I'm gonna launch it again. I'm going to do the process again. It's gonna say you already have a bubble. To duplicate, press X. If we press X, and then triangle to add some bubbles. But really important, do not delete the duplicate bubbles manually. To delete, use this tool. Really important, guys. So we press triangle, and then we determine how many bubbles we want, depending how many games you have. I only want to do one extra. You want to replicate the bubble. We press X and we say yes. We let the PlayStation Vita do its magic. Remember to reinstall Hankaku again because we reboot it. Now if we check, we have our two bubbles, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now let's go and modify them. We launch our Adrenaline Bubbles Manager. You can see Team One Lao, or One Lua, I don't really know how to say it. You can see it reads all the ISOs, all the games you have. So I'm going to select Dragon Ball C. And now if you can see closely, the ones that have C, those are the ones that already have the P boot PVPs. You can see if I scroll down, they already have some images. So I'm going to select my first clone game. And you can rename it. You can rename it whatever you want. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And then you're going to say. And then you're going to get a message. Custom pboot been created. Would you like to use MT3 driver? I put yes. Extra options. Boot bin. Press X. Would you like to select contents P1 PICI? So that's basically a PNG picture. You don't really need it. If I say no, would you like to modify another bubble? I say yes, because I want to get my Street Fighter Alpha Max. I press X, you're gonna get the same message. Now I'm just looking right now for that game. So Custom boot, custom P boot created. We select X X, and then our PlayStation Vita is going to restart. We sped up the video for you guys. Okay, so let's try the game. <laughs> Remember to install Hankaku. Okay, so let's try Dragon Ball Z. Now, it can take up to 5 to 10 seconds for the game to load. But, as you can see, it does work. It's pretty awesome. So, PSP game is working. It's amazing. It's just exciting just to launch it from your live area with this tool. It's pretty cool. Let's try the Street Fighter. Alpha Max 3. You can see, loads perfectly. Now, some games might not load. I do not know why, but most of them should work. But just remember that you will need to have Adrenaline installed. If you don't have it, get the Adrenaline Easy Installer from Freakler, and then you can get that Easy Installer from the Vita Homebrew browser. Basically you can do everything through that app and then you can install everything else. So now you would see in Vita Shell if you don't have the Adrenaline Booter check one of my previous videos go to the description I'll go ahead and leave that video so you can know how to install that and also once you install like a bubble with a clone or anything like that and you use the Adrenaline Bubbles Manager it'll just modify the tie text or config text for you so you don't really have to do anything which is pretty cool so guys if it worked hit like subscribe share with your friends let me know if it worked for you as always game and rebirth out